In this video tutorial, we will look at the Google Push Pins map. This is a Google map in which you can have multiple locations shown. When you look at the preview, you'll see exactly how this works. We have map markers marked with letters, and then down at the bottom are a listing of locations. We have the addresses along with the label. This template will support up to a total of 15 address locations. You do need to have a list set up with those fields. In my list, I use fields which I named location A, location B, location C, and so on. You can choose your own names. These do need to be simple text fields. Note there is a special SharePoint location field that's not used for this template. You just need text fields and then you'll use the title field as well. And that's all you need for your SharePoint list. Another requirement is that the text fields are divided into two parts. There is the label for the location, followed by a colon, and then the actual address. So be sure that your locations are set up in that particular format. As with the other templates, you should check out the different theme options to uh, get some ideas on the look and feel. The example template shows you 15 locations. This is showing addresses for major league baseball parks. You should change the SP field count column to match the number of locations you're going to use on your card. This field may not be larger than 16. You have the title field and then up to 15 locations. I am using that maximum amount for my example, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in my information. And then you need to insert your Google API key here as well. Um, so go ahead and fill in that information and then you uh, can just paste everything in. So we'll do my field names. And so on. You do need to list all of the fields out here that you're going to use. Um, notice it says location field required. And then once you're ready, you can copy this template and follow the directions to copy that into SharePoint and um, paste it into the view selector, advanced mode, and then paste in this section and it will render your chart in here. This does require the Google Maps API and therefore you need a Google Maps API key. There's a link to that down at the bottom of the notes section that I'll tell you where to get it. This is closely related to a couple of other mapping templates which you should try first. If you go to the sharepointdashboards.com site, there is a map section and you should start out by using um, the regular map card template, which is just mapping a single address. And then once you've used that, you can go ahead and go in here. Another thing worth noting, you do have some additional options. You can control the height and width of the map. And then you have the option to control the map type. Um, if you want to have a different look uh, for that, as well as the pin color. If you want to change the pin color, use the drop down selector um, and you can set that up exactly how you want. So there's lots of options in here. Um, this is a great way to display location data. And um, again, one key thing to know is that these are hyperlinked on here. So if the user wants to go to an individual location, they can just click on the link and it will take open up a page directly to that location. Good luck.